Southwest Florida, you're looking live at Community Fun Day here in uh, Fort Myers, Florida, at Mount Hermon Ministries uh, Church property. And we have an outstanding event going on here called Community Fun Day, where a lot of free things are given, health care tips, back to school celebration, book bags, supplies, boxing, uh, fundamentals, uh, uh, food, bicycle giveaway. Come on, I can't go through all of that right now. I got to get to what I got to get to. If you're looking at us from anywhere in the world, we're in what's called Southwest Florida. We're west of Miami. We're on the Gulf of Mexico in a city called Fort Myers, Florida, which is the largest population of African Americans in this area live right here in a community called Dunbar. Of course, I'm Lee Pitts, the host of the show. Sitting here next to me, you've seen him on television numerous times. He is a legend and a star in our community and a boxing sensation. So without further ado, Magic, Marcus, Willis. Welcome to Leap is Live, bro. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Marcus, let's bump these mics. All right, I want everybody to know I taught Marcus how to swim when he was a kid. <laughs> and uh, that is my claim to fame. And I also saw him when he was a state champion, Sunshine. You don't even know I remember all of that. <laughs> when he was around 10 years old, they came. Y'all had those little gold. Gold, gold and red. And similar to this mic. Uh -huh, yep. Y'all came in the studio and did some shallow boxing. Uh -huh, yep. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember that like it was yesterday. About how old were you then? I was about 10 or 11 then. Uh, yeah. what, how many pounds do you recall? Probably like 85, 90 you, you maybe. that heavy there? Yeah. yeah. Somewhere usually, around there. I don't remember. It's been a while ago. Yeah, but one of the things that fascinated me, and I want to get into that before I go a little farther with what you're doing out here today, is, uh, of course, your brothers, Mar uh, Larry, Quentin, uh, Quentin uh, Larry, the senior, the daddy, uh, and, and the whole boxing family. What's the name of your... Uh, uh, the it's Team Willis Boxing and Family Fitness. Okay, what does Team Willis Boxing and Family Fitness do? I want you to plug that. Uh, we are a fitness program in the community. We teach kids how to box and the fundamentals of boxing. Um, we're here for any kids that are trying to get in shape or need some, some guidance to where they need an outlet or just you know some stress relief or um, just misguided. Well, when I, when I came know. out there... I saw adults getting in shape too. Yeah, yeah we have adults too. It's, it's from kids on up to adults. You know, adults need to get that stress relief out too right. and, and need to stay in shape as well. So we're there for uh, kids from the age of seven on up to adults, you know, uh, in their 50s, 60s, you know, however old you are and you want to get in and get a good workout in. And when we see those top notch boxers like Floyd Mayweather, uh, Evander Holyfield, and people of that nature, Roy Jones Jr., people like yourself and, mm -hmm. and Quentin. You guys are a fit, man. Yeah. Is it a, a, some some things that go on in boxing that create a certain amount of fitness that other sports may not deliver? I mean, you get that cardio. Uh, that with, with, with with boxing, you know, uh, you're you're using everything in you to 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 work out. You know, from your feet all the way up to your head. It's a mental exercise. It's a physical exercise. Um, there's no other exercise like it. You know. So uh, it's definitely a lot of brute force that, you, that we have to, you know, involve in our workouts. Okay. And one of the things I noticed when I saw you as an adult and I saw you as a kid, <laughs> you and your brother shallow boxing and sparring, you and Quentin, I'm always fascinated at two brothers getting in there, slugging at each other. How does that work? And y'all living the same house, and the next thing you know, y'all walking around smiling together. I mean, he don't like me, so, you know, we have to fight it out sometimes. We beat each other up. Uh, uh, he always bullied me when we was younger, so when right. I got old enough to get uh, to get a little licks in or whatever, okay, cool. you know, I tried to try to use my time to get there. Uh, but, uh, now, we have fun, man. Um, me and Quentin are, are like best friends. So we get in there, we work out, train hard, and we prepare each other to, to go to battle. Is it fair to say by you being the younger one, being able to train against your brother like Serena against Venus, mm -hmm. that made you uh, uh, even better than your brother in the, in the long run? I wouldn't say, like, <laughs> people think that I'm better than my brother, but I'm not. Okay. My, Quentin's a lot more talented than me, okay. uh, and I'm very humble. I'm humble enough to say that. Uh, I look up to Quentin, and he's, like, you know, ultra talented in football, boxing, Quentin, whatever it is. Quentin, shout me out, bro. Um, and, yeah, being being up under him, it made me the fighter that I am, right. you know. So I wouldn't have been where I'm at today without, you know, my brother being there, you know. All right, I haven't him. had you on the show since your legendary father retired from uh, CenturyLink. Yep. But we know we, 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 that's cool, but we don't really care. We just, we know what he is as a bo uh, uh, boxing coach, uh -huh. a football coach, an influence in the community. Having seen your dad do all of this with the youth in the community, how does that make you feel to see how, how people are celebrating your father? 
It, it is uh, very, very um, humbling, and uh, it's a blessing because, you know, the, the amount of time and the amount of sacrifice that my dad's given and to be honored, he just uh, got uh, Larry Willis Senior Day, um, it's June 14th. Um, it, it's, a, it's a blessing for, cool. for him to achieve that because he's put the work in, he put the time in. So it, it's definitely, you know, something big for us. This is the first time I've been to many community fun days. This is the first time I've come out here and seen a boxing rink out here. This is your first time out here, and what are you guys trying to get across at your boxing rink? Um, well, we, uh, we, I mean, I, I, I went to school at Mount Hermon. You know, okay. so I've, when, when, I, when I was doing peanut, peanut butter jelly with you, I was here, you know, okay. uh, at Mount Hermon doing school. Um, That's why you write so well. <laughs> That's why you're intelligent, man. I yes, can, sir. I, I just want you to know, I noticed that when you write, <laughs> You write, uh, it's, it shouldn't be anything uh, a big deal that you do write well and that you are intelligent. But you know the misconception about it's, athletes, they yeah. think you can't. But you got that brain along with oh, that. Oh yeah, that, that Gra grammar is definitely uh, something that, that I, that I, you know, put in my life, you know. I, I love to, to, to be grammatically correct and right, to right. say the right things and write the right things because some people, you know, they do give us that persona that, you know, we're not the brightest, but um, I'm definitely trying to go against those odds and show You're them something different. What are you doing over there? I, when I went over there, you had some kids in the ring. Yeah, we got a few kids over there. Uh, we're doing some mitt work. Uh, had a few of them doing some sparring and offense, defense drills, uh, just showing the community what they we love do in the it. gym. Yeah, yeah, they love it. You know, we got a lot of kids that are interested in it. Um, and these kids, they come in here and work hard. You know? Introduction. Now, what, what size? These are eight ounce. These right here are fourteen ounce gloves. Yeah, these are just some some bag gloves that we train in. No, but fourteen ounces are not. That's common to train in them. They, yeah. they, that's considered heavy, now, right? These fourteens are sixteens. These are sixteens. Okay. So these are normally the size gloves that we spar in. Mm -hmm. And um, I spar. Me and Quentin, we spar eighteens. Once you get to that that uh, professional level, you know everybody's punching hard. So to protect ourselves, so we're not beating each other up before the fights, you know, we, we <laughs> sparring bigger gloves. So, okay. you know, we're, we're able to, to fight, you know, with, with all of our <laughs> faculties. What has been the overall response to uh, what you guys are doing in the community? Has, been, has the community embraced the whole concept of what you're doing as a, as a boxing school, a fitness uh, place and all of that? Yeah, um, I actually got a message the other day on Facebook from somebody I don't know. And she was just saying, you know, um, uh, you're doing a good job, brother. Blessings to you. You know, I see what you're doing and everything. So the community definitely, uh, definitely is seeing it and accepting it. I'm wrapping it up. Okay. So, Marcus, it's been a pleasure to have you here. I got one more interview to do, man. Thank you. Give Thank a you. website or All where right. people can hit you, you up can, and learn more. We're at 3414 Cleveland Avenue, about a mile north of Edison Mall. Um, right Phone across number. from right across from Papa John's, uh, right next to Papa John's, across from Taco Bell. Um, our our website is www.teamwillisboxing.org. Uh, our, Social media. Oh, we just changed our phone number. You can see us on uh, fa on Facebook at Team Willis Boxing, uh, Instagram Team Willis Boxing, and that's about it. Man, am I taking care of the boxing or what? Huh? Am I taking care of you? Yeah, you definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right. You always this, look out for us. Lee. This is my man Marcus. I taught him to swim again. My claim to fame. Yep. The champion. The champ is here when he was around nine, ten years old. When we come back, we'll get a chance to talk to Greg, the gorilla, the man of the people, taking back the city. We'll be right back. Thank you.